What's going on guys? Welcome back to a, another video on the Griswold Trading Channel. I'm happy you guys are here. Today we're going to go through the watch list, the swing list for the month of November. I try and do these every month for you guys. We are a couple days into this. So some things have triggered and reversed, but we're going to go through all of that for you guys. Um, most of the time I do day trade videos. I do these monthly swings for the people who like to uh, swing. So <laughs> let's uh, let's get started on this list. I want to go through a couple things first. The first one I want to look at with you guys is this screen right here is TradingView. Now I use TradingView to chart all of my trades. If you're looking for an application like this, something to use that's like this, you can use TradingView. There's a free option, but if you go down into the description, there's a link. Uh, for TradingView. It'll give you free 30 days to their subscription-based services. So you get to try out one of their sub sub services free for 30 days, no obligation. And then if the end of those 30 days or before those 30 days are up, you want to go ahead and purchase that subscription, then you can go ahead and do that and you'll get up to $30 off of that subscription. But you need to start by clicking the link down below. Now, I did the same thing and I think you know, in the first week, I just decided, yep, this is what I'm, this is what I'm looking for, and I had, I had purchased this subscription after seven days. But um, that's how you can get a free 30-day trial to TradingView. If you guys have questions or you want to follow me on Twitter, you can find me at Mr. Clark Griswold. So go give me a follow there. If you have questions, you can ask them there. You can do the same thing down below in the comment section. I would appreciate it, along with a thumbs up. And then you can also find me in my trading Discord, uh, Griswold Trading. That link. For the discord is in the description below and everything that i offer for you guys that's free or fee based can be found in that discord so i do have a membership uh but 90 percent of what i put out there is free on that discord there is a small group there uh a small amount of rooms there for griswold gold members it's 50 dollars a month you get a whole bunch of great stuff a one hour strat course you get one-on-ones with myself group sessions with myself and the rest of the gang, um, ad free watch list videos. Um, there is the strat indicator that I've created. You get that included. You get the live trading bots for spy and a bunch of other tickers. So there's a lot included for that, for that small price of 50 bucks. And you can make that back literally in one trade. Um, so go check that out. And then the last thing I want to talk to you guys about real quick here are the ads. Now the ads pay for this stuff to be free. So I thank the advertisers for putting that stuff on there. But in order to keep this free for you guys, I need you guys to do one thing for me. Um, for me putting these videos out and you getting to watch them, I ask you to just to let those ads roll through. And I thank you in advance and I appreciate it in advance because like I said, those ads pay for my time and it basically pays for your guys' education on this stuff. And speaking of that education, listen guys, if you can give this stuff six months, you will become proficient at trading this strategy, the strat. Um, I, I studied this for six months before I actually started trading it and it's got me to where I am here now today. Uh, I would suggest doing the same thing. Uh, you don't have to just study you can actually trade this within those six months but give it six months give it a year and i promise you guys this stuff will be make you become more profitable and more consistent so let's get started with this list and first up we've got apple so apple on the monthly chart is currently inside here on november so we're looking for it to break to the upside we have this bar from october it was a two down that finished green so we're going to look for calls once they break 157.50. And then this is no different than the day trade videos. Our targets are still set on this monthly chart right here at 160, 164.36 in that range. So now when we're taking the option plays on this, or you can just buy common shares, but when you're taking the option plays on this, I'm probably looking at a strike. If we're triggering at... You know, 157, I'm probably looking at a strike of around 161, 160, somewhere in that range. And then an expiry date, you can get two months out. Uh, you can get six weeks out, somewhere in that range. I wouldn't take four weeks. I would take six to eight weeks. Uh, and that's how I would play the monthly. But that's the setup on Apple. If we go to Airbnb, Airbnb is currently on an inside bar. And it's preceded by a 3-1 setup. So if you guys have followed me before, you know that... Um, I like the 3-1 setups. It is basically just an inside bar setup that we're looking at, but it is 
preceded by an outside bar. So these 3-1 setups, you notice it's painted gold here. That's part of the Griswold Strat indicator, as are the candlestick numbers, um, the yellow bars, the white bars, the time frame continuity indicator. That's all part of the Griswold Strat indicator, along with the 50% rule. Um, and that you can actually purchase separately if you don't want the membership, and that's a $25 one-time fee. You get that thing for life. But off of Airbnb, so we have this inside bar. We're looking to break the high of that inside bar or the low of that inside bar. So we're looking for calls at 2071 or puts at 102.18. And these blue markers right here are my triggers for the month. The yellow ones are the triggers for the day as the day is currently sitting inside bar as well. And you can check that out on the daily watch list video that I've created for November 2nd. Um, so yeah, inside bar 3-1 setup on Airbnb. If we go to AFRM, that's a firm holdings, currently an inside bar on the month. So again, we're looking for this to break to the upside or the downside. Um, sorry, we are currently inside. The previous bar was a two down that finished green. So we are looking for this to trend back to the upside. We're at a bottom of a broadening formation here, and we're looking to come back to the upside so we can look for calls on this at $21.96. Adobe. So most times, guys, when I do these videos, the month hasn't opened yet. This month is already, we're already open. So this bar is currently live for the month of November. So again, we have this inside bar painted yellow with the indicator that I've created. And we're going to look for a break to the high side. Or let's mark that out. Or the low side for you guys. And we'll change the color of that. There we go. So we can look for calls at 330.58 or puts at 276.60 on Adobe. We move on to BA, that's Boeing. Boeing also on an inside bar, so calls at 150.14 or puts at 121.02. You guys can mark those out. CCL is Carnival Cruise Lines. Carnival Cruise Lines. Okay, so we had a two down that finished green in October, and now we're in November. Okay, so we gapped up and we've trended back down. So what do you do here if you want to get into this play? Well, I'm going to wait for this to retest that blue trigger line. So if we come back up through that trigger, that's that's a signal that we can get into CCL or get back, back into CCL. Okay, we'll move on to Colgate. That's ticker symbol CL. CL, also a two down green. We're going to look for calls on this thing at 7510. We are also looking for a break on the weekly, it looks like. So if we head to the weekly chart, uh, we've already gone two up on the week. Uh, so we'll see how this monthly setup plays out for Colgate Palmolive. We'll move over to Disney. Disney also had a two down that finished green. We've already broken above that. So again, we just look for, we look for that trigger again for it to retrace that trigger at 106.90 on Disney. Move on to DraftKings, DKNG. DraftKings also two down green, so we're going to look for a two up on this one. Two down, two up reversal. Uh, calls at $17.45. Fubo, I believe, had a double inside bar if I'm... Yes, double inside bar on Fubo. We've got full time frame to the downside. We'll see how this thing plays out. We can look for calls at 473, puts at 336. A lot of really tight range bars here recently from Fubo, so we'll look for a breakout there. Google, and I put Google on here for one reason, because we have full time frame continuity to the downside. Um, we've broken to be in that 2-2 continuation, so something I guess you could jump into if you were looking at. Um, your first target is down here at 85.28, so there is some magnitude, some room for it to move there, so that's something to look at for Google if you're still interested in that. Home Depot, same, well, that's Google. Sorry, here we go. Home Depot, Home Depot was an inside bar. And again, we gapped up and we've come back down. So we'll look for that retrace back to the high side. The other thing you can do, guys, is if you have this, the, the Griswold Strat indicator, I'll turn this on for you guys. You go to settings and we go into the... 50% line on the month and here this dotted line you can change the color on it if you like but that dotted line is our 50% marker so again in the month of November 
if we trigger this 50% month, we can look for a outside bar or a three bar um, on Home Depot or any play really that we're looking at. So IWM, same kind of thing. Uh, we had a two down that finished green. We were looking for a two up. We got it. It's currently reversed on us, so we can look for a re-trigger on IWM. Coca-Cola, uh, same thing, two down green, but we have an inside bar. So we can look for calls at $60.91 there, and uh, we're looking for that inside bar that's currently sitting to break through that $60.91 trigger and hit targets at 62.87 plus. Okay, LCID, two down green. Again, we're gonna look for that call uh, trigger at $15.68. We are at this blue line as the bottom of a rotting formation. Uh, we do have full time frame continuity to the downside, but we can change that if we are triggering to the upside on Lucid. Lululemon inside bar, we've already broken to the upside and reversed. So again, we can look for a re-trigger on Lulu at 332.59. MA is MasterCard, two down green. We busted through that trigger already. We've got great time frame continuity to the upside. So you could still get into some calls here on MasterCard on the one month. We are still very, very early. MS, two down green in October. So we're looking for a two up in November. Currently sitting inside bar, time frame continuity to the upside, so look for calls at 84.74. MU, looking to break out of this inside bar. So again, calls at 57.44, or we can look for the puts if we hit that range at $50.41. And we'll continue on here into Nike. Nike had a two down that finished green. We gapped up. On the monthly and retrace so we'll look for a re-trigger on that $94.35 trigger price. From Nike we go to uh, let's do Oracle and then we'll hop back up to Nvidia. So Oracle currently again a lot of these have already triggered and retraced so we can look for a re-trigger on Oracle at $78.33. Nvidia uh, same thing we've triggered already we'll look for a retrace at that 138.50 mark, or we can look for that 50% rule that we talked about um, a couple ticker symbols back. Uh, well, let's head into Pfizer. Pfizer, two down green. We've already gapped up, so if you want to jump into this, feel free. Uh, I might give it some time to see which direction it's going to go, and maybe we get in on a re-trigger if possible on Pfizer. Time frame continuity is pointing to the upside though, and we are at the bottom of a broadening formation there. Procter and Gamble, again, this one's also triggered, so we can look for a re-trigger on Procter and Gamble at 135.67. Piton, currently sitting on the inside bar, we're looking to go two up off of this two down green, so we can look for calls at $9.42. QQQ, two down green. That's close, not quite a hammer candle, but we're going to look for this thing to trigger to the upside off of the 284.60 trigger line on QQQ. Starbucks, uh, 3 1 setup. So we can look for calls at 90.90 or puts at 82.43 on SBUX. Spy had a two down green. We gapped up, we've come back down. We can look for a re-trigger. We'll see how SPY ends up playing out in the month of November. Be fun to watch it. XEL, currently sitting on an inside bar off of this two down green. So again, we can look for calls at 66, 68. Time frame continuity is all pointing to the upside off of the bottom of this blue broadening formation. INTC, inside bar off of this two down green. So we'll look for calls at $29.22. XLU, inside bar off of this two down green so again look for calls at 68.92 off of this blue trigger line good magnitude to the upside on xlu if we can manage to hit that uh, ebay was a two down green as well at the bottom of a broadening formation we've triggered it already we can look for a retrace back to the upside at 40 dollars and 63 cents and lthm lthm off of this two down green hammer candle again we've triggered We've come back through. This is our 50% marker uh, off of this maroon dotted line. So we can look for a retrace 
on the calls at 3230 or if we break through this 50% line you can play puts at that 50% line um, to see if we hit outside bar on LTHM and the last one I've got for you guys is Arc W was a two down green uh, we've already triggered to the upside at 49.56 so we can look for a retrace on Arc W guys thank you for watching make sure you're subscribed if you found the information helpful make sure you're checking out the daily watch list videos i've also got a spy series for you guys as well as a learning tool playlist and the fomc coming out wednesday november 2nd make sure you guys check out that strategy it is a banger make sure you watch that video as well i'll put it at the end of this video for you guys to check out good luck trading in the month of november guys i wish you nothing but the best and we will see you guys all on the next one bye bye I'm not afraid to